Hey, Dropouts, what's poppin'? It's your boy Jordan Dropout, thank you for dropping in. And if you went into this conference expecting to see something like Pokemon and Snap, then I'm sorry we didn't get that, but at least you got Pokemon now. That's right, I wish I was joking, but I'm dead serious. Pokemon Sleep is set to release next year. I know what you must be thinking now, what the hell is Pokemon Sleep? Well, after watching that conference, I can honestly tell you, I don't know what this is. The Pokemon company said that they set out to create a game that would make players be excited to wake up in the morning. So as of right now, it looks like Pokemon Sleep is a mobile game that does connect to Pokemon and Go, and also connects to a new device which is called the Pokemon Go Plus. Plus. I promise I'm not lying right now. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus is a new device that connects to your phone via Bluetooth and does something while you're sleeping. So when you wake up in the morning, it basically it promotes healthy sleep. Nintendo is trying to get us healthy, which I guess isn't a bad thing, but this is one of those things that just kind of seems like, why would you, why? <laughs> why did this need a conference like this? This is something that you talk about on Twitter, especially if you're gonna do a whole conference and still not explain it. Cause I know a lot of people came out of that thing confused. I know we'll get more details later, but it just feels like a big why for me right now. So yeah, the conference was a little boring, but it wasn't all bad. We got introduced to Pokemon Home, which would be this generation's Pokemon Bank. And it looks like this will be what they'll be going forward with for the foreseeable future. So Pokemon Home, like Pokemon Bank, is what we'll be using with this generation's new Pokemon games to get all of our old Pokemon from the old devices and the old games. So for everybody out there that was afraid that you may not be able to bring your old Pokemon with you to the new games, rest assured that you will be able to. You hear that nut butt? You coming with me? And I wouldn't bank on this just yet, but the wording that they used when talking about Pokemon Home made it seem like we would be able to back up our Pokemon, which would be awesome if they were able to give us something like that. And if you still play Pokemon Go, which you probably do because a lot of people do still play that game, there's also a Snorlax event going on until June 3rd. Snorlax will be appearing on the map, they'll be sleeping, I don't know if that means they'll be like easy to catch or not, but yeah, they're actually sleeping, so I would assume it's an easy catch. We got another mobile game announced at this conference called Pokemon Masters, and I gotta say, this does look pretty cool. It looks like something I'll download and try out. I like the art style of this game. I'm hoping that Pokemon Sword and Shield could pull off something like this because the models in this game look pretty clean. Also, if you were a fan of Detective Pikachu on the 3DS, we are getting Detective Pikachu 2 coming to the Nintendo Switch. And that's all we know. That's it. They said it's the conclusion. It's coming out one day. They didn't give us any information. I never played the first one, but I'll be down to try this one out. I'll probably watch a walkthrough of the first one, so I'll be caught up whenever this game comes out. So if you're into Detective Pikachu, we're getting a sequel for the Switch. Last but not least, we got some Pokemon shirts. This was easily my favorite part of the conference. Some of these shirts are heat. These shirts fire, bruh. I wish I could order one right now, but as I looked at the website, I saw the price. These shirts are about $100 each, which is kind of steep for a shirt. And I ain't got money like that to be just throwing it at $100 Pokemon shirts. But I might grab one or two because they look pretty clean. And that's all the Pokemon news that we got from this conference. I just wanted to get it all balled up and condensed for y'all. So you won't have to sit through that conference like I did. Because honestly it was boring. But hopefully y'all not too disappointed. Because we do have the Pokemon Direct coming up next week, June 5th. So we'll be getting a lot more Pokemon Sword and Shield news then, and it'll hopefully make up for this conference because I honestly feel like this could have just been an investors meeting that they talked about amongst themselves, and this stuff could have got posted on Twitter after, like they did last year. I feel like last year should have been streamed, this year's was the one that they could have just killed. But anyway, that's it, just a quick update. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield? Are you excited for Pokemon Sleep? Hopefully we get a Pokemon Snap game one day, but don't hold your breath, because Nintendo or a Game Freak or the Pokemon Company, whoever's in charge of these spinoffs, but they know we want this game. They still ain't giving it to us. I'm starting to lose hope, but I'm going off on a tangent. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. So as always, y'all be good. Be blessed. Later.